you can go. Come into your room. Come into your room with a physical voice. And once again, give you some words of uh, encouragement. the truth. 
true way forward is to understand your own feelings, your, mm, your true journey forward. Allow yourself to settle in to that, mm, that correct river that will take you uninterrupted on your journey to the ocean, that wonderful ocean of further understanding. Is that the case then that every person has a unique way to access this greater knowledge? Every person, every spirit, every spark of life is unique. Mm. You more authentically in touch with one's own vibrational energy. Mm. For mm, nobody. 
nobody likes to be pushed around. That is a natural reaction to the motivating force that is trying to push you forward through your life experiences in a physical existence. Understand the obstacles that you are creating and your life will become more understandable you will mm, recognize, you will recognize why you have set yourself on this path of a physical existence. For you, you gave yourself various tasks. take a step back when you feel you are being confused, you feel you are hitting your head against a barrier. If you continue to try, you will make matters worse. If you step back, examine your feelings. Does this mean then, in a sense, that when, when people study esoteric disciplines and meditation in a particular school or a particular method, they're taught a particular method in a particular way, that it can make things very difficult for them. They, they, they don't progress, they don't feel as if it's, it's working and they often blame themselves, that there must be something wrong with, you know, that they're doing it wrong. Is, is it for this reason that sometimes they're trying to fit themselves into a, a frame and a, a methodology that just doesn't suit them, that isn't authentic for them?
successful in their own development and understanding that they have indeed found for themselves the correct river and they have flowed freely into the ocean of understanding then they believe that all Conversely, when you don't feel completely easy with another person and their teaching and their ways, when it, it jars or doesn't ring true for you, that's also a sign that you're barking up the wrong river. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. Mm. 
and it doesn't invalidate their teaching or their method because it may work for other people but for you it's off course yes there are no wrong ways mm -hmm. there are no incorrect mm -hmm. rivers mm -hmm. for they all lead to the ocean yes that's very useful because I think a lot of people do blame themselves you know they, they start along a path with a lot of enthusiasm and then feel dissonance it doesn't quite work for them it doesn't and they blame themselves they think there must be something wrong with them that it's not working and because they've put so much hope and faith in this particular path and it seems to be working for other people they don't have the courage to forge their own way. They feel there must be something wrong with them and they, they sort of struggle, as you say, and just seem to get further and further from their own path. So it's very, that's very useful, what you've said, because it, it confirms something that I felt, that people do need to take control, to, take autonomy for their own developmental path. And although they can take a little bit from other people that may be helpful, it's wise to always consult with oneself and use oneself as the ultimate guide. I think the great teachers and Buddha himself has always has always advocated that. Suck it and see, and if it doesn't work, find for yourself. Find for yourself whether this is true for you. Find your own way yes, if, to these truths. If at first you do not succeed, try, try. try a different way. This is always the answer. If you are struggling, then you know you are, as you said, barking up the wrong river. For it should be an easy path. Nothing is made difficult for you. Mm. You make the difficulties for yourself. Mm. You create the obstructions. If you are having difficulties, know that you are in the in the incorrect place. Give it a rest. Try something else. Mm. Take yourself away. Have yourself a holiday. <laughs> Come back refreshed. Start a new path. That's very helpful, thank you. I guess the same applies, doesn't it, for any growing thing when you consider a plant putting out its roots. If it comes up with obstructions, it looks for a different pathway through the soil, through the earth, until it finds it. We have said in the past, all you need to do is look into the nature on your planet, look at the wildlife, observe this life as it, as it moves.
moves itself forward, and you will see the patterns emerging that are mirrored in your own quest to move forward, to gain greater understanding for all life. Is set in this similar blueprint, this similar pattern. You can learn from observing the nature on your world, mm -hmm. the animal kingdom. See how they succeed, see how they fail, see how they try again. They do not become so disheartened as the human form becomes disheartened, for they do not take with them the egos, the fears that the human form build up within their own mind. They do not see themselves competing with one another. They are more happy to share their discoveries with one another. Watch them at work and bring this to your own. world, this beautiful world 
and care for your fellow spirits as you wander half-blinded to the realities that surround you that are looking after you that are attaching themselves to the journeys that you undertake in this brief moment that for you is understood as a physical lifetime Thank you, friend. Good evening. Good evening. And may God continue to inspire you forward on the onward journey to that brilliant diamond light. Good night and God bless you, friend. Please replay your music and we will withdraw. Thank you. I love and blessings with you. Good night.